Sometimes we are so desperate for God's help, His guidance, His protection, that we need to seek God at a new level. And I think about fasting, when I think about those serious moments in my life where I was just, I was just desperate for God's counsel, His help, His protection. Praying is great, and God tells us to do that, but there are so many instances in the Old Testament and the New Testament where the Israelites or just the people of God in the New Testament were so, so, so desperate for God that they, they took it to a new level. They not only prayed, but they fasted. Fasting simply means that you deny yourself the comforts like food for maybe two, three days, or even a week. Now, it might be a partial fast where you're just giving up perhaps meat or sugar or something like that. Maybe you're only going to eat vegetables, or it could be a total fast. I want to add here right off the get-go, if you have any kind of health concerns, please consult your doctor before you do any kind of total fast. It could even be a fast from media. Some people might go that route if they have a health concern with fasting from food. Whatever it is for you, it means taking prayer to a new level to show God that you are serious, that you are willing to give up creature comforts because you desperately are seeking Him, seeking His guidance, His help, His protection, His wisdom. I did this once, uh, well, I've done it several times, but one instance that comes to mind is when I was dating my first husband, Raul, I had some conflicting, uh, basically, opinions from some people around me, from some godly people around me, as to whether or not I should be dating him because he'd been married before as had I, uh, and I was just in conflict, not knowing which way to turn, and, and so I sought God with my whole heart, and I fasted for three days, a complete fast, and I just cried out to God, and you know, at the end of that three days, God gave me a clear vision, I had clarity, and, well, I married the man, and it ended up happily, so that was just one instance of a fast, and there are so many instances in the Old Testament and the New Testament, I think of Ezra chapter 8, where the Israelites had to go through enemy territory, and they were scared. And it says they prayed, and they fasted, and they implored God for his help. And then Ezra says, God answered their prayer and brought them through safely. Maybe it's time for you to consider not only praying, but fasting.